We've been putting chromotherapy into our saunas for many years and so quite simply is colored light. And colored light chromotherapy has been used for many, many millennia actually, even, you know, people using pieces of colored glass and if you could even think of stained glass as letting light in different colors. Um, but it's really evolved through the years and each different color we give many colors in our chromotherapy. Let's see if this is on. Yeah, there. So there's chromotherapy. This is here in the top. And I'm just going through the different colors. So I'll let it cycle through while I'm doing it. So each color corresponds, it depends on which system you're trying to look at. It corresponds to different organs. Each color corresponds to a different organ, to a different chakra, and to a different healing method. So, for instance, blue, blue light is used by many people for seasonal affective disorder. Uh, blue light's gotten a, a bad reputation lately, but it has been used if you live in a northern climate where you don't get a lot of sun, you can use the blue light from our chromotherapy for seasonal affective disorder. It's been very effective. Recently, red light therapy has been talked about quite a lot because of photobiomodulation, which is just a fancy way of saying it actually is putting energy into the cell, into the mitochondria, creating, helping the, uh, the mitochondria to create ATP, which is sort of the energy building block of, of uh, the cell itself. Um, so in, in other systems, the red light would correspond to the heart. It also would correspond to the nervous system, circulatory system. So you would, you would get a boost from red light. Uh, each color corresponds to different uh, systems of the body. Violet will relax the nerves and the lymphatic system. So there's a lot of this has not been researched greatly in depth photobiomodulation and the seasonal effective has been researched clinically and uh, there's actually a lot of research on it but a lot of it is more either esoteric or word of mouth and so what I tell everyone to do with the uh, chromotherapy is to experiment and see what what it feels like in your body if you put uh, let's say purple on for your entire sauna session. How do you sleep after that happens? Or when you put the red light on, how does that make you feel uh, in your heart? Do you notice anything different in, your, in the way that you are uh, going about your daily, you know, uh, daily life and the interactions of people? Green light uh, has been shown to be a relaxant. So all these colors, so I would I would encourage anyone, if you want to, just put in chromotherapy as a Google search and you'll come up with just this plethora of charts and you know all these different systems. So there's no, it's not like a solid science except the photobiomodulation, things like that, that I can point to research articles. So it's more of a starting point to experiment and see what works for you. So for myself, when I get in my sauna, I'll put the chromotherapy on either red for the entire session or I will run it. We have an automatic function where it will just run through every color because I figure that kind of hedges my, uh, my bets on that.